What is good everybody? Welcome back to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today we have a very special one for you guys. It is time to preview MDT Live episode number 14. I really enjoy previewing these shows and getting this info up to you guys and letting you guys know, you know, exactly what is going to take place on these episodes that are coming up. I think that it builds to it, it hypes it up, it gets us freaking ready, and you know, it, it sort of gives like a backwards perspective and like an analysis perspective on the show. Sort of how like WWE does it, you know, sort of like an ESPN grasp on the MDT pick fed. So Let's go ahead and dive straight into things, guys. Big episode coming up, episode number 14. Of course, Vindication episode 14 was posted a week ago, and uh, we are on track to get this episode out pretty quickly, and I am super duper excited. So let's go ahead and get started, guys, with this MDT Live episode 14 preview. There are going to be three matches confirmed for this show, three matches. You guys have seen that over the past few weeks, we have confirmed around three matches. You know, that's how it's always been. We're going to keep it up like that. I think it's the best way to do it. You know, uh, the last episode of Vindication 14 actually was... 33 minutes long just about and that was the longest episode ever and uh, I think it's doing a really good job I really enjoy the longer episodes I think you guys do too and uh, we're excited to can you know continue that going forward so Let's go ahead and dive right in, guys. The first matchup that we have is an Elimination Chamber qualifier. One of two Elimination Chamber qualifiers coming in. And the first one is going to be Cedric Alexander taking on Kofi Kingston. Now, this one is going to be very exciting. You know, both men are very athletic in the ring. They have really unique move sets, high flying all around the ring. And, and they're going to showcase their athleticism here in this, this matchup, I'm pretty sure. So I am super excited for this one. Both men had really strong qualifier or really strong Royal Rumble performances, and that is leading to them getting this opportunity. You know, Kofi Kingston, he uh, he has not found his footing. You know, New Day, ever since losing their World Tag Team Championships, they really have lost it. They haven't really been around. They haven't been able to, you know, get anything going. But after a strong performance by Kofi Kingston in the MDT Royal Rumble, where will he fall? Can he get himself into that chamber? Maybe he'll have a little luck like he did in the WWE Elimination Chamber if he were to get in that thing. And then we have Cedric Alexander, who was the fourth entrant in the MDT Royal Rumble, had a really strong showing. He looked great in that matchup. Uh, he had the first ever elimination in MDT Royal Rumble history, eliminating Cody Rhodes, and he had a lot of eliminations, man. He was eliminating Sami Zayn. I think he had one more elimination, and this man was flying all over the ring. So both of these guys had epic performances, and they're going to uh, tie up here for a chance at the MDT Championship in the Elimination Chamber at Hell's Gate. So that should be a really fun matchup between these two athletes. Uh, the next matchup that we have, guys, is another Elimination Chamber qualifier. This will be the second match of the night, and we have Jeff Hardy taking on Randy. Randall Keith Orton, Randy Orton with Edge at ringside, and this is also a Elimination Chamber qualifier. You know, Jeff Hardy was actually one of the Iron Men of the MDT Royal Rumble. He came out at number one. You know, we really didn't know who would be the first entry. You know, that that didn't show. We didn't see him pick his number, and it looked like you know it was confirmed. It was it was Jeff Hardy. He came out at the number one entrant, and he lasted a very long time. I think he lasted all the way to like number twenty-seven. He was in the match for a very long time. I need to go back and calculate how long each member of the MDT Royal Rumble was in there. I think that'd be pretty unique. I need to go back and do that and time it and see everything. But Jeff Hardy coming into this thing, man. He had a really strong performance. He was also a part of the first ever MDT Money in the Bank matchup, and he has a tall task as he will take on the Viper Randy Orton here with Edge at ringside and Rated RKO are ready to go. I'm not sure if Edge is going to have a qualifier. You know, it hasn't been seen. It hasn't been whatever. Uh, he did come in a couple spots or a few spots after Randy Orton, and they were both eliminated by Bray Wyatt, and so uh, that, you know, Rated RKO are going to have an opportunity to get in the chamber here, and uh, it won't be both of them like it was for the MDT Royal Rumble. You know, Bishop didn't say that. He said that it would be Randy Orton if they were to win here. So maybe Edge could get in there later if Randy qualifies or what have you. But Jeff Hardy and Randy Orton should be a very fun matchup. Both of those guys trying to compete, trying to get into that elimination chamber. And uh, that should be a really good matchup. And then our main event for the evening of MDT Live episode number 14, guys. It's going to be Roman Reigns, the MDT champion, taking on Dean Ambrose in a non-title matchup to end the night. It is not, you know, no title on the line here, but the Usos are banned from ringside. Dean Ambrose obviously returning last week, you know, saving Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins was going one-on-one -on -one with Kurt Hawkins, and the winner of that matchup was going to go to the main event of My Damn Nation, and Seth Rollins uh, was, you know, the, the the bloodline interfered in that matchup. Roman Reigns and the Usos came out. They were trying to call Seth Rollins that main event spot at My Damn Nation. You know, Roman Reigns, he, he would have loved nothing more than to take on Kurt Hawkins at My Damn Nation, putting his championship on the line. Probably would have been an easy victory for Roman, but Seth Rollins uh, was going one-on-one -on -one with Kurt Hawkins. 
Hawkins and uh, the Bloodline ran down there trying to cost him. But Dean Ambrose comes to the rescue. It looked like all hope was lost. And Seth Rollins was saved by Dean Ambrose, a returning Dean Ambrose. Haven't seen him in weeks after, you know, uh, getting beat down by the Usos many weeks in a row, much like Seth Rollins. Dean Ambrose returns and he takes out the Usos. He takes out Roman Reigns and uh, they, they want to settle things in the ring here between the two. So Dean Ambrose and Roman Reigns will go one-on-one here in the main event of MDT Live. And, you know, this is big right here. You know, it's not a chamber qualifier or anything like that, but Dean Ambrose has the ability here. If he were to win this matchup, wouldn't he be considered for the chamber match? Or, you know, he, he would definitely be gaining some momentum over there on MDT Live. So uh, Dean Ambrose and Roman Reigns will finish the night in a matchup. But uh, tons and tons more on MDT Live, guys. You know that uh, we don't always tell you everything that's going to take place because I want it to be a surprise. And so uh, Usos will be banned from ringside in that matchup, and that should be a great one. But I'm not going to tell you everything that's going to happen, but we do have some more things announced for this show. Uh, Eric Bischoff has some announcements. You guys know that last week he had to, uh, he was he was talking about everything and, uh, you know, the higher-ups of MDT pressuring this man, you know, pressuring him into uh, things that he needs to take care of. And the MDT Money in the Bank briefcase is still at large. You know, they still haven't given or released any information on RVD getting ran down in the parking lot on MDT Live episode number nine. It was the go-home show for MDT sold out. So this is, uh, you know, this is big news. Hopefully we can have us a decision. He said that he was going to make some announcements regarding the Money in the Bank briefcase this week. And so that is going to be big news, man. I mean, who knows what the hell Eric Bischoff is going to talk about with the Money in the Bank briefcase. I'm excited to see what he has to say. And that is going to be really, really good. We also have our Extreme Champion guys, Kevin Owens. You know, he uh, he was on there last week. He wasn't at the arena. You know, he cut the promo. He was with the cameras. And he, he cut a promo talking about he is the standard. And, you know, he wants to be the standard of the Extreme Championship division. And he tossed the tra uh, the championship in the trash can. So I don't know what the hell that's going about. You know, I don't know. If we're going to get a new championship belt. I don't know what the what the deal is there. But he, tr he chunked the, tra uh, the championship in the trash can. And uh, he was hiding out. You know, obviously beat the hell out of. He had injuries. You know, his shoulder. He had some cuts, you know, that was covered up. He had some, you know, bandages around and stuff because he took an absolute beating in that opening matchup at the MDT Royal Rumble. So we don't know what's going to happen with Kevin Owens. Will he be in the arena uh, coming forward with MDT Live Episode 14? That's going to be interesting to see. We haven't seen a matchup just break out in the middle of nowhere, you know, uh, randomly on MDT Live. So I don't know if we'll see one of those, but Kevin Owens is definitely our extreme champion and he had a strong performance and who knows who is eyeing this man. But we also have our United States champion. Jack Swagger, who was on episode 13 of MDT Live, guys, obviously, with a little vignette with Jack Swagger, you know, he was he was talking to everybody, you know, trying to tell, he was in the suit, he was cutting the promo, you know, with the American flag behind him, you know, so we don't really know what's next for Jack Swagger, we don't have a number one contender for the man, is he going to defend his championship at MDT Hell's Gate, that remains to be seen, so there's plenty of things that could happen on MDT Live episode number 14, guys, it's going to be exciting to see, but let's go ahead and dive in right here to what we have so far for the MDT Championship Elimination Chamber are pulling it up right here. We have Velveteen Dream, Chris Jericho, and obviously the MDT champion Roman Reigns and three at large spots. Two of those spots will obviously be filled by either Kofi Kingston, Cedric Alexander, Randy Orton, or Jeff Hardy. So two of those spots will be filled and then we will have to fill out our last spot on the go home show for uh, MDT Hell's Gate and who knows who's going to get that spot. Should be very exciting to see who is going to qualify there and finish out our chamber matchup but we will know closer you know after MDT Live 14. We also have our Elimination Chamber on the Vindication side of things, the Elite Championship. And right now we have AJ Styles, Shinsuke Nakamura, and Kenny Omega. So on the go-home show of Vindication, Vindication Episode 15, we are going to have three Elimination Chamber qualifiers to round out our night, and we're going to know who all is qualified going into Hell's Gate. Should be very, very exciting. And uh, the rest of the card for Hell's Gate right now, it looks like we have the MDT Live or the MDT Championship Elimination Chamber. We have the Elite Championship Elimination Chamber. We we have a tag team matchup for the MDT Tag Team Championships between the Young Bucks and the Wyatt Colt. We also have uh, a matchup that's up in the air right now between Cody Rhodes and Johnny Gargano for the Iron Man Championship. That one's up in the air. I think the Usos are going to defend their championship. It's, I think that is going to be an open challenge, but I'm not exactly sure just yet. You know, rumors sort of circulating right now about what that's going to be. And then uh, we still don't know about the Revolutionary Championship and who the hell knows about Kevin Owens because that, that championship is always on the line. I mean, we could there could not be a match booked, and then just all of a sudden, the freaking shit hits the fan, and then Kevin Owens is defending his championship against 10 people in one night. But he is, you know, uh, man, it is mandatory for Kevin Owens to be in the building at every pay-per-view, and so uh, him taking
taking off MDT Live last week. I think that moving forward that he is going to be in some deep crap if he were to avoid coming to work. So I think that is going to be something that we have to look out for. Will the Extreme Championship be on the line? Who knows, but uh, he will most definitely have to be there. So I think it's safe to say that somebody will be eyeing him or whatever the hell happens over the next couple of weeks leading into MDT Hell's Gate. But I think that is what we are looking at for the rest of the time, guys. Very excited for MDT Live episode 14. Got a lot of great stuff going on. Um, everybody keeps asking me when MDT Hell's Gate is, but I'm telling you, I, I you guys should know how the how the schedule works. Go look at the MDT Wrestling playlist. It always goes Vindication, MDT Live, Vindication, MDT Live, Vindication, MDT Live, then we have a pay-per-view, and so that's how it goes. It's always three episodes of each show, and then we have our pay-per-views, and so uh, if you guys are missing out on the episodes, it's really, really big that you guys check them out so you know how the storylines are progressing. You know how everything's playing out. And I think it's very important that you guys understand and know what's going on in Storyline because it makes it even better. So uh, definitely uh, pay attention to the shows. I know a lot of you do and I appreciate it so much. And uh, the pick fed is my favorite thing about the channel. And I'll say it, I'll say, I've said it once. I'll say it a hundred million times. If I could uh, produce a pick fed show every single week and that's all I could, if that's all I had to do on this channel and that's all that, you know, I, I could do, I, I would just produce a pick fed show every freaking day. I swear to God, I would have like, content like WWE YouTube channel. I would be producing interviews and all kinds of stuff if it were realistic, but it's just not realistic at this moment. Uh, maybe one day I can just hire a team. You know, I can just hire a team and we can film pick feds all day and we can put up high quality shows and everything. But anyways, guys, that is going to do it for the MDT Live episode 14 preview. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Comment down below who you think is going to win these three matchups. I would love to know that down below. Uh, what are your thoughts on the episode coming up? I would love to know that as well. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys for more news, figure picks, and all kinds of crazy action figure fix-up stuff, things that sometimes we don't post here on the channel. So definitely follow me on Instagram and Twitter. But thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.